personality, competitive people just like me. This has been driving me nuts. I've been kind of like in this phase, like in between stuff. And I've been like, okay, what's supposed to happen? It's making me mad. It's like been making me depressed and upset that I didn't know the answers. I didn't know what was going on. It wasn't working out. Like I had planned and what was supposed to happen and all this kind of stuff. But the thing is, it's like finally, you know, as I was working out with Kindle Tool and Shadowboxing on Peloton, it hit me. It's like she said it and it's so true. It's like if you don't know the answer, it's because the answer is not yet here to be found. Ah, so like, I mean, I am very spiritual. I believe in God 100%. And so I put that together and that is so true. You know, I've been trying to let go and let God and for somebody like me that always, you know, has raised myself since I was 15, done everything on my own. You know, I have to do this, 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 and this, this to get where I need to be, blah, blah, blah. It is so hard just to let go and let God. And that's what we have to do. A lot of times we get so it is. It's like sometimes we get so caught up in like what we're supposed to be doing, what we're supposed to be doing, we forget to stop and look. Look back. Sorry, I'm sweating. I just got through working out. Look back. Look what we got out of. Look what we did. Look where we came from. Look at that growth that we have made. Look at it. And freaking smile and be happy in this moment. And quit fretting and worrying about what's going to be ahead. And quit freaking out that you don't know what's happening right now. That it's not going like I'm supposed to be having it going. Stop. I've been reading a plan every night with my anxiety plan. Like with, you know, anxiety is the devil and all this kind of stuff. And, and the Bible and all, all this plan is saying just let it go. And I'm like, okay. Okay, God. You just, you know, just... All right, so just let it go. I mean, that's just so easy. You're like, you know, anxiety, people, you feel me? You're like, I can't just let it go. <laughs> you know, I have this, um, it's an eye, dis eye problem. And basically, stress causes the valve in my eye to leak. It started on set a couple of years ago with all my, my situation with work and everything and everything I was having to do there and everything and whatever. Anyways, my story is stress makes it worse. And so I have this blind spot in the little middle of my eye, central serious retinopathy. And the more stress, it's blind spot. So it sucks. It's like this, you know, I'm like, I can't see. And so the doctor used to tell me, he said, you know, hey, you know, you need to do yoga to relax and meditate. And I'm like, take an hour to do yoga? Are you crazy? That's an hour of cardio. Do you know how many freaking calories I can burn? And I do, but see, my yoga is different. Cardio does make me chill out, and that's why I'm doing this now. But the thing is, the whole point of this is we have to stop because anxiety kills your body. It does. It's Seriously, we have to stop. And I'm talking to me because I can see me, and I'm praying to God I'm helping somebody right now. And I'm not just looking crazy on this thing, but I'm only doing this to tell my story right now because I feel like Maybe somebody else needs to feel this, but like, stop. Look at where you came from. Look at what you've done and how when you were back there, you wanted to be right here where you are now. So quit freaking out that you don't know the plan right now because look at where you've come. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, thank God we live with a forgiven God. But look where we are. Look at what we have. Make a path for yourself. Get your spiritual spirituality right. Get your God right. Get your job right. And get your kids right. Okay? Get, get you right. Don't worry about anybody else but those things right there. Your God. Your children. Your job. Because that supports you. And yourself. And then move forward. And make a path. And whatever else is supposed to happen, it'll happen. But be happy in this moment. Be, you know, I asked for strength. And God gave me a lot of pain. A lot of trials. A lot of you don't know all that I've been through. And you think just to... You know, just this little recent divorce thing. No, <laughs> it's nothing, baby. People that smile the most, they usually hurt the most. So be careful about what you say about people because you don't really know what all they've been through. But it doesn't matter where I came from. 
It's where I'm going to go. But I'm going to teach myself and my son about what he can do. And forgiveness for other people and for yourself. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this and you can do this. So I am happy with myself and my son and my life. And if you need friends, I am here. Because let me tell you something. Don't be afraid to ask for help. I have a new neighbor, Mr. Matthews, and he is amazing. And it I had a kidney infection where I couldn't even, oh my gosh, I couldn't even get out of the bed. I was dying. Now, my mama did call and ask me to help. She was sick of the flu and I didn't want to mess with her. But this man, I asked him, I said, he asked me if I wanted help. And I always say, no, no, no. God. I said, Yes. Will you please bring me my medicine? And he did. I told him sitting there at his new home site, I said, do you know how much it took for me to ask you for help? And he was like, I'll do that anytime. And I know. He said, at first, I didn't know how to take you. He said, but now, I like you, girl. He said, I can be myself around you, and I know I can do anything for you. You can do anything for me. I was like, yes, sir. And that's so true, guys. I have been through so much in the last year and a half. It is so crazy what going through like custody battles and mental, like, you know, forgiveness and divorce and, you know, it, it's a lot, okay? It, you know, I don't judge anybody. I was not perfect in every situation, nor was everybody else. But what I'm saying, and I, and I don't do this to call anybody out, you know, I pray for that man and his family every day because that's my son's family. That's still my family, really. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Because he will always be connected for our baby. And I hate that I didn't have this mindset back then. But it's growth. And you will have, you will have that too. And if I can help you, call me. Because there's been so many times I've squalled and cried and not left this house or wherever I was staying, whatever, for like three or four days. I mean, you know, like it's, it's mentally... Crazy. And a lot of times people that are going through a divorce or going through different trials or different, you know, things, they, they separate themselves from each other, from other people. And, and I wish I would have had a little bit more because if I was, then y'all would have saw all my crazy. But people judge you like, oh, they did this. I'm like, yeah, but that is the time I needed you. You know, people are Christians. They always want to help everybody. They always say they're going to help everybody. Do you know my old church? One person out of the whole church. Checked on me. Been in that church 14 years. Tied very good and very faithfully. One. These are the times when those, when people need you. And a lot of people, and I say that I love that church. And I still, I will go there and it has nothing to do with that church. It's not about dogging the church. Trust me. It's about me trying to teach. Learn from my lesson. You know, the thing about Tiffany is, you know, people always like talk about her, da, 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 da. She puts herself out there. But you know, I do. And y'all all talk about me and y'all all say everything. But do y'all know how many people message me privately? And they're like, thank you. Because I had the balls to step up and say something and, and talk about it and They've been hurting and scared, and it helped them. So I don't care. Talk about me. I'm helping people, and I'm helping myself. So anyways, the moral of the story is a lot to do with the church. You know, and the thing, and let me say this too. By checking with somebody to see if they're okay is not being nosy. And maybe that's what you think. A lot of people, and I appreciate that. A lot of people are like, well, I don't want to get in it. I don't want to get in. I don't want to gossip. I don't want to do that. Thank you. Thank you. Because you really don't know everything. But the thing is, it's like, and I'm not talking about just me. I'm talking about the whole freaking world. Everybody. They're like, well, I don't want to get in it. Whenever somebody's hurting, I, I, I say, hey, look, I don't know what happened. I don't care what happened. It's none of my business. I don't want to know. Unless you need to talk about it and you need some help. But just know, no matter what happened, whether you're right or you're wrong, I'm here. And if you want to talk about it, let's talk about it. So, I don't know. I just kind of felt, um, since I was born, I've been, if you know my child, he is me. And I'm probably, I mean, he is, I mean, he is 
loving life. He's in the middle of everything. He's always been taking the picture in the middle, always, uh, you know, from the very beginning of kindergarten. He's laying there crazy. He is quarterbacking, loving it, living it, talking, you know, it's center of attention, blah, blah, blah. And it's just, that's who we are, not because we want to be the center of attention. It's just our personality, right? So God gives us gifts and God has given me a gift of leadership and given me a gift of um, being able to speak out and I do care what people think about me, but I don't care what people think about me. Does that make sense? I'm a hard working mama. I am a go getter and I put myself through school. I have a bachelor's and master's in math. I will have a heart of gold. I will do anything for you. Even Seth used to say, she means well, she's got a good heart. It may not always come out right, but I do have a good heart. ADD, and that is definitely, a, you know, people, that's, that's what makes me so mad, too. It's like, when kids have a problem, you know, we understand it. We, oh, he's ADD, so we let him take a test somewhere else. Um, we allow them more time to take the test. Um, we don't maybe punish them as much as somebody else. But whenever that kid, that same kid, becomes an adult, we don't, give them any grace anymore. What? I mean, do you really think that ADD just stopped? Oh, because she's an adult. I mean, oh, she's supposed to be able to handle it. Yeah, she can some, but she's still got something. I mean, you don't become, you know, have a broke arm or uh, let's just say a, no finger. I'm born without a finger. I become 18. All of a sudden, boop, my finger grows. No. I mean, you know, it's part of it. Like it still goes. So yes, I, my mouth works way faster than my brain. Yeah. Or my brain, no, my brain works fast. There you go. My brain works faster than the mouth, so it doesn't always come out the way I mean it or say it. And so, you know, and I just, it's like shots like this. It's like, oh, I thought about this. Oh, I'm not very in rude and interrupting kind of thing. And it's like, you know, a lot of times I do say things before I really think it all the way through, you know. So, you know, forgive people. Give them grace. I mean, you know, I, I, I've got ADHD. I've got high anxiety. Ask any freaking doctor. They try to put me on some medicine and I try to take it and I just can't stand it. I, I just can't do it. And so I don't. And so like, you know, one of the best doctors ever, he told me, he said, you know, Dr. Liverman up in Weston, he said, you know what, Tiffany? Because I went to him. My in-law says, do you ever just want to take her and just stop her and slow her down? You know? And so that's why I went and I told him all that. And he said, you know what, Tiffany? He said, maybe you got to be around people. I just love you for you, you know, because I'm going to love you for you. And so, it means a lot. The moral story is, I don't know if I can get back to where I was supposed to be. Just be who you are and love everybody and give everybody grace and understand that people go through a lot of things. And as a person, stop trying to figure it out right now. You don't want to figure it out. You know, I got to thinking about that earlier. I was like, oh my God, to me, you did it. Like how, where I was, the growth I am now that I was three weeks ago, it's crazy. I mean, I look back, I'm like, gosh, what was she thinking? You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's hard to explain. Unless you've been here, you don't know. But if you're going through this and you need somebody to talk to, holler at me. I made a little Facebook group. It was Tiffany's Framily. Y'all use it. If y'all want to go somewhere, ask somebody to come. And y'all want to bowl some peanuts, ask everybody to come over. If y'all have to talk about something, if you you don't have to post it publicly on there. Just say, hey, does anybody, would anybody could anybody talk to me about some other stuff? Whatever. Um, You know, like I told y'all, it's hard for me to go to church on Sundays by myself when I don't have my kid. I kind of say, hey, do you, anybody want to go to church? Whatever. That kind of stuff. But it's okay. You're going to be fine. Be still. Let go. Let God and quit trying to force anything. Because if you're trying to force the answers, they're not really the answers that you're going to want. And I thought about that as like, one day I'm going to be looking back wishing I wouldn't have done this now. I wouldn't have pushed now because I'd wish I'd had what I had now. See what I'm saying? So at least I'm better than I was. And I'm good now. And you can too. And I have no idea, but God, oh, I remember. So God gave me the ability and what I was saying about my son, like we're all over everything and, and you know, like to, what I don't 
anyway, moral story is, is I feel like God laid this on my heart to use my little testimony to help you. And if it did, good. Because you know what? Go help somebody else. And I'm proud of you. And if you ever need anything, let me know. And I don't mean this for this, but seriously, if you are looking for a manufactured modular home and a land home packages, just mobile me, Tiffany. But seriously, I am kind of like a personal consultant, like a little, you know, whatever. 601-757-9322. Okay, yeah, I'd still have to feed my kid. And just for kicks, I am in a Fabulous at 40 contest. And yes, I do win uh, some money for my son and I. And I do win like a, a spa vacation, which I really need for my stress. And yes, I do get a two-page magazine spread, which will be cool. And But honestly, the reason why I first thought about doing that contest is because just the same reason why I did this video. Like, I have so much strength because I have so much pain. I've been through so much. And I want to use that in this testimony maybe to help other people. Because I do have a voice and I will stand up and help other people and maybe it will. So I am gonna drop the link. And so if you feel like it, please vote. Um, I am first out of five now. And then after this week, I, it's a whole nother contest. So I'll let you know. And the money does benefit breast cancer. So it does help. Thanks. But for real, God loves you. I do too. And you're gonna be okay. Have a blessed day.